the guys SD again little update it's 10 minutes after one and both solar panels are finally fully exposed let's see what we're getting here on the output uh, load still zero amps getting 13.3 volts Ten amps so far. A couple times it's fluctuating with like ten point one, ten point two. Not too bad. And our batteries have jumped up to thirteen oh three right now. She's doing really good. I kind of keep an eye on it. And right now it's uh, ten minutes after one. Shows the difference. Just getting. Both panels fully exposed. That way you guys know when you get ready to set your panels up, you see what you're looking for. And I got a lot of trees around here, so I'm going to get uh, probably about four hours of direct sunlight and, uh, and then sporadic until later on in the uh, evening, then I'll get a little bit more uh, direct sunlight, but not much. But Doug said there's a way around that. You just get you some mirrors and wherever it's coming in from, just reflect it back onto the uh, panel. So. That'll probably be another little video we might do later on. Yeah, this is what the, the trees look at here in the backyard. Got a pretty good sized one right there. That blocks it after about 2 o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me, and that's the one kind of blocks a lot of the sun from like 8.30 uh, until about uh, 1 o'clock. It filters through, but like you say, is if your panels are uh, partially shaded, you don't get the amp drive. So come winter time, uh, so you should do a lot better. This is what the panels look like when they got all the sun lit up on them. So we moved it over on that side there. I got one more spot right here. I can put another one that'll be fully exposed with all three. But I got a bunch of uh, limbs up here. We got to trim and get out of the way. But she's up and running. Not too bad. Even the birds are stopping by to see what the heck's going on. And over here in the tree, you got my buddies Rocky and Bowwinkle. There's two squirrels that come down here, so I feed them all the time. Got a video of one of them running around in the room out here in the yard. There's another one, another pair that live up in there. They come down here and I feed them on the fence over here. So we have to figure out some way to get them on a little wheel and they can start making some power too. Alright guys, we'll catch you later on.